In this video, we'll learn to carry out calculations with numbers up to 1 million, including strategies to check answers, including estimation and approximation. So we'll start with addition, then we'll do subtraction, multiplication, and finally division. So we start by lining up the numbers correctly, meaning that digits with the same value are under each other. So units under the units, tens under the tens, hundreds under the ten, hundreds, and so on. So we start adding from the right, so adding up the units, because if we have anything to carry over, we can do so to the tens and then to the hundreds and so on. So three and zero and one makes four. Eight and six makes 14 and the four makes 18. So eight down and the tens are carried over. Six and one is seven and seven makes 14. So four down and one carries over. One and one is two and two is four. Four and eight makes 12 and the five makes 17. So seven and one carried over. And one and four makes five. Five and eight makes 13. So the answer is 1,374,000. 484. So how can we check that this answer is correct? There are different ways we can do this and one of them is by subtracting. So maybe subtracting one of these amounts to see whether the remainder adds up to the total of these two or subtracting one of these or maybe adding these two first, working out the total and then adding this on top. So we could repeat the calculation, but we could also use estimation and approximation. So if I round this to 41,000, so we round them to the nearest thousand. So the first one is 41,000. The second number is 482,000. The third number is 852,000. And the way we round them is by looking at the digits next to them. So that's a zero, but this is a six. So that's going to make it to one. So I round this up and that's a seven. So it's going to round this to two. That's a zero. So there is no change with a two there. If you need to recap, estimation and approximation, have a look at the videos that link to this. So adding these up now, so 0, 0, 0, 5, 9 and 8, 17, so 7 and 1, and there we have 8, 9 and the 4, 13. So this is 1,375,000, which is very close to the answer we had there, suggesting that we've got it right the first time around. Now, moving on to subtraction. Again, line them up correctly, units under the units, tens under the tens, and so on. And we start with a unit. So 9 take away 4 leaves us with 5. 1 take away 1 is 0. 0 take away 4 gives us a negative number, so we'd have to borrow 1 from the 4 to make it a 3, and this becomes a 10. 10 take away 4 is 6. 3 take away 8 uh, gives us a negative number, so I'll borrow 1 from this, and this becomes 13. 13 take away 8 gives us 5, and 2 take away 5 gives us again a negative number, so I'll borrow 1 from the 6. 12 take away 5 gives us 7. 6 take away 5 gives us 1. So the answer is 175,605. So that's pretty much similar to the fraction of numbers that are smaller as well. So nothing has changed, we just have more digits. And same thing with addition as well. The same procedure, it's just the number of digits that we have more here of has changed, nothing else. So now we'll check 
using estimation. We could also add these two up to see whether it gives us a total. So that's another way. You could repeat the calculation again to see whether that gives us the same answer. Whereas I will round it. So I'll estimate what the answer is and see whether that matches. So I will go um, maybe round into the nearest 10,000 this time. So it was 734,000. So it's going to be 730,000 minus 560,000 because of the 8 there. I could have rounded to the nearest 100,000, could have rounded to the nearest 1,000 as well. So it does not really matter. If you round to the nearest 1,000 though, it's like to give you a more accurate answer. But you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to round to the nearest 100 or 10 in this case, because then that would be very close to this and there is no point in estimating and approximating. So we've got 0, 0, 0, 0. 3 take away 6 gives us negative, so we're going to borrow 1. So this becomes 13, take away 6 gives us 7. 6 take away 5 gives us 1. So it's 170,000, which is very close to 175,605 that we had when we worked it out. Now we'll look at multiplication. So the same procedures will follow as if we had fewer digits. So we will go starting with the units, 5 times 6 is 30, so 0 down and 3 carried over. 5 times 5 is 25 and the 3 is 28, so 8 down and 2 carried over. 5 times 7 is 35 and the 2 is 37. 5 times 2 is 10 and the 3 is 13. 5 times 9 is 45 and the one that we had 46 5 times 4 is 20 and the 4 is 24 so we're finished with the 5 now we'll move to the 9 but the value of the 9 is 90 and for that reason we'll put a 0 down and multiply all these digits by 9 because that's a nice and easy way to multiply by by tens. So put the zero down and then treat it as if it was a unit. So nine times six is 54. So four down and five carried over. Nine times five is 45 and the five is 50. So zero and five carried over. Nine times seven is 63. And the 5, 68. 9 times 2 is 18. And the 6 is 24. 9 times 9 is 81. And the 2 is 83. 9 times 4 is 36. And the 8, 44. So we're finished with the 9 as well. Now we're looking at the 4, which has a value of 400, in fact, because it's 495. So now this time we'll put two zeros underneath and we'll treat it this as a unit. So 4 times 6 is 24, so 4 down and 2 carried over. 4 times 5 is 20 and the 2 is 22, so 2 and 2 carried over. 4 times 7 is 28 and the 2 is 30. 4 times 2 is 8 and the 3 is 11. 4 times 9 is 36 and the 1 is 37. 4 times 4 is 16 and the 3 is 19. So we've got all of these. We'll now add them up. So, 0. 8 and 4 is 12, 
so two down and one carried over seven and four is eleven and one is twelve eight and two is ten thirteen and one is fourteen six and four is ten and the one is eleven seven eight nine eleven thirteen nine and one is ten and the four is fourteen one and one is two so the answer is two hundred and forty three million nine hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred and twenty so I'll try to round this off now. 492,756, I'll round that to 500,000. And we'll multiply that by 500 because it's 495, so very close to 500. But I could have multiplied um, maybe 493,000 by 500 so that is possible as well and the easy way to do this is multiply 5 by 5 which is 25 and then add all these zeros so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 zeros so 1 3 4 5 6 Seven. And what's this number? Let's separate them. Three and then three. So it's 250 million. And if we compare it to this, which was 243 million about, that, or 244 million, if we consider the nine there, that is very close to it, suggesting that we got the calculation right. Now we'll do the division. So we'll do eight, four, six, one, four, two, divided by 14. So we'll start by looking at how many 14s fit into 84, and it is six of them. So then we'll look at how many is 14 lots of six it gives us exactly 84 so we haven't got anything to carry over so we can cross these out and look at the six so how many 14s fit into six and that is zero and zero lots of 14 means zero so we have to carry over the six so that makes it 61 so then we look at how many 14s fit into 61 and that is 4. So 14 lots of 4 or 4 lots of 14 makes 56. So that means 56 we've got 5 remaining from the 61. So now we look at how many 4s would fit into 54 and that is three of them because 14 times 3 gives us 42 so taking that 42 away from the 54 that gives us 12 so we've got now 122 so how many 14s would fit into 122 you can add up to get to a point where you see that there are eight of them because 14 times 8 gives us 112 so there is 10 remaining now at this point we're finished with the whole number and that's where we put a decimal point here and we can add as many zeros as we like after this point after we put the decimal point some people like to put a decimal point here as well and that's perfectly fine now we're looking at how many 14s fit into 100 and it is seven of them because seven lots of 14 give us 98 so there'll be two remaining 
So we can add zeros again now. There is no problem because we've got a decimal point and zeros after a decimal point we've said don't make any difference. They have no value. So how many 14s into 20? That's just one of them. And we'd have six remaining, so this becomes 60. How many 14s into 60? And that is four of them. Now, as you can see, this is not ending. And we could continue for a long time with this decimal. However, if you've got three decimal places, which means three digits after the decimal point, then we're pretty much there. So we don't need to continue this forever. And we can stop here. So our answer would be 60,438.714. So you could round up these answers to try and see whether they fit like things like 90,000 divided by 15 and it gives about 60,000. Or you could round this up and multiply it by this to see whether they give you this total. So if this is maybe 60, thousand multiplied by 15 so six lot six lots of 15 that there's the two lots which gives us 30 and another 30 four lots and another 30 gives us six lots so that's 90 so we've done these two now we add these zeros so one two three four so 900,000, which is roughly about the answer that we initially had, which is 846,142. So we've estimated this as well. And another way to check this answer could have been to really divide this big answer with 495 or divided by 500 and see if it gives you something close to that. So that's just another way of checking the answer. So we've looked at these different calculations. We've looked at adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, the strategies to check answers, including using estimation and approximation.